Hello guys and welcome to a new video of the most beautiful music instrument there is, the Crypto Violin. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like the content I'm providing, please consider subscribing and liking this video. I have also a beautiful Twitter page where I post daily signals and price predictions. Please consider also following my, me on Twitter. Let's get into the juicy content and the nice articles I have today. The first article I have is an article from newsbtc.com. And the article is, states, will new crypto bill absolve Ripple of ongoing XRP lawsuits? At present, fintech firm Ripple is already subject to several lawsuits that allege it broke SEC rules by selling unregistered securities with sales of an XRP token. But in a further blow, attorneys of a company called Bitcoin Manipulation Abatement LLC filed a fresh lawsuit with the U.S. Federal District Court on May 1, 2020. Consequently, according to court documents, Bitcoin Manipulation Abandonment LLC accused Ripple and its CEO Brent Carlinghouse of offering and selling unregistered securities. Lack of regular clarity represents stick point for Ripple. The U.S. lacks a uniform legal framework with regards to digital assets. This lack of decisiveness is working to drive the tech innovation away from U.S. shores. With that, authorities are well aware that the outcome of Ripple's ongoing lawsuit could worsen the situation further, the knock-on effect potentially being the U.S. losing ground to crypto-friendly nations. So the U.S. is actually scared to get behind on the innovation here. So they will fasten up the pace on the regular clarity. So we will continue reading. Caitlin Long, an ex-managing director at Morgan Stanley, commented on the flight overseas as a direct result of the SEC's indecision. The SEC stance has caused a massive flight of up startups to offshore jurisdictions. Lawyers right and left are telling clients don't issue the token of US investors and don't domicile in the US. So guys, let's continue to the lower part. It gets very interesting here. The new bill does not consider digital assets as securities. Based on current circumstances, it seems as though the SEC is waiting on the court system to rule on whether the XRP token, crypto token, is a security or not. It could be argued that such a decision falls within the remit of the SEC, not the US court system. However, News of a bill amendment update to California security law may mean Ripple gets a reprieve from the, from the ongoing lawsuits. The, the state of California, home to Silicon Valley, is moving to clarify what it means by a security. The bill amendment excludes digital assets from the definition of a security. Investment contracts accept any digital asset that meets one of the following criteria is presumptively not an investment contract. If passed, this bill amendment would effectively nullify accusations that Ripple acted against security regulation by selling XRP. Okay, so what we read here, guys, is that we have a big chance, actually we have a very big chance, that XRP is not a security. And I want to show you the next article because this article is a very old article and it states why Ripple XRP grew over 140% in September 2018. This is from hacker, hackernoon.com. And those two things are linked very uh, closely and I want to tell you guys why. So let's read it. From September 20th, to September 21st, XRP price rose of 50% in just 24 hours. It then continued to grow over 140%. There was a reason behind this. Ripple's head of regular relations of Asia Pacific and the Middle East, Sagar Sarbai, announced on CNBC that Ripple Labs is closing to release a product that will help banks to speed up transactions using XRP. Below is a quote made by Sagar Sarbai on CNBC. I am very confident that in the next month, uh, one month or so, you will see some good news coming in where we launch the product live in production. 
So, the timeline is potentially one month for a working product and investors were rushing to get in. So guys, the only reason why XRP went up 140% in a couple days, in a matter of days, is because of major news. So I will link this to, will new crypto bill absolve Ripple of ongoing XRP lawsuit? Guys, if the SEC or the court rule that XRP is not a security, then XRP will explode. I am 100% sure of this. And last time, over some news, XRP rose 140%. And I am very sure that this will happen again. XRP will go to the moon. And on short term, XRP can go 3, 4, 5x also with this small news. So, again, we will continue on a very juicy article from Cointelegraph.com. And it states... It was posted 14 hours ago and it states Ripple seems to be developing a blockchain based working capital loan loans product. A recent job listing on blockchain based payments firm Ripple indicate that it's working on a working capital loan product. So again, a new product. So Ripple, uh, they have many products and their company is growing and growing and growing and they have huge side hustles also. They have the main uh, goal and that's uh, cross-border payments but those are beautiful side hustles that just mature the ecosystem and grow the ecosystem so you read the blockchain based payment network ripple recently added a job opening on its official website for a director of Pro product management loans the description indicates that ripple is working on a new loan product to help its customers with working capital loans Working capital loans are loans companies take to financially support their everyday operations in the short term. A blockchain-based loan product could potentially shorten the time for companies to avail capital lo loans, reduce paperwork and improve transparency and account accountability between the involved parties. Considering Ripple's wide reach across major financial institutions, this could be a huge benefit for a company seeking work in capital loans. Ripple's efforts to transform finance with blockchain. Ripple has so far built various blockchain-based financial products that it is providing to financial institutions. It has shown substantial progress in bringing traditional financial institutions to use blockchain-based remittance service. On May 10, Dubai-based RAK Bank announced that it was using RippleNet's solution to facilitate remittance payments to Bangladesh within minutes. Cointelegraph also reported on Ripple's partnership with various South Korean money transfer and remittance company and the Thai fintech D-Money to disrupt the remittance market on the region. Only recently, Ripple claimed to be the first distributed ledger te technology-focused company to have become a member of the ICO 2022 standards body. ICO 2022 is a proposed standardized approach in methodology, progress and repos repository to enable communication and interoperability between global financial organizations. So guys, huge news. So Ripple has a new side hustle. It seems to be developing a blockchain-based working capital loan product. Okay, we'll continue because this is actually an article that I already um, shared with you guys. But I wanted to share it again with you. So the Daily Hodo. So uh, the, the article states, Ripple reveals new details on the mysterious cryptocurrency trading platform. So Ripple reveals that it has a cryptocurrency trading platform or actually it has been working on a cryptocurrency trading platform i will only um i will only read a couple uh, sentences from this article new information on the on ripple's next generation generation crypto trading platform continues to trickle out via the company's job postings ripple is currently looking for liquidity staff software engineer to join the project's team. According to the application, the enterprise-grade distributed trading platform will provide real-time access to crypto markets and Ripple's products. So, 
again here ripple is building on the ecosystem there are huge things going on guys wake up really there are huge things going on and and last but not least this article don't be this guy guys i want to share with you this article to uh, warn you don't be this guy pantera capital founder on what he learned from missing out on ethereum pantera capital founder explains how a bitcoin maximalist bias led to the biggest mistake of his investor career dr stephen waterhouse a founder partner of Pantera Capital says that his biggest regret as a VC is not investing in Ethereum initial coin offering, but he learned from uh, his lesson from his mistake. Waterhouse received his doctorate. Okay, uh, this uh, you 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 guys can read by yourself. But guys, don't be Stephen Waterhouse on this topic, of course, because I think he's a very smart man. But again, an bad informed smart guy can also make huge mistakes so guys his biggest mistake was not investing in ethereum when it was very low the price was very low because it exploded to twelve hundred dollars and he was shocked he didn't expect it he was a bitcoin maximalist he was around bitcoin maximalist so he thought no uh, I don't accept, I don't look at other coins. And guys, as you know, XRP is being bashed by Bitcoin ma maximalists. Everybody is saying no, and that's that's Ripple's dumping their coins, and uh, it's no real, real world use case, and it's only a scam coin. Guys, we will prove you all wrong. Wake up, don't be this guy, don't be. Steven Waterhouse guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content I'm providing if you like um, My videos, please uh, Consider subscribing. I love to share the content with you. See you in the next video guys. Bye. Bye